This is a quick setup video on how to connect your ignition T-switch to a Jetty receiver. I use my little pen here. The connection down the bottom, that's your main power input and that connects to your ignition kill switch channel on your receiver. This small cable plugged into the telemetry port is connected to your E port, which is your EX bus. We've also got a power connection here, which is powering your receiver. We're using an AR power battery, and it's also gonna be powering the servos. We also have an LED here, which is currently turned off, showing that the ignition is inactive. Now, I will also grab one of our temp probes, and I'm just going to install that quickly into the T1 port. You can see there, with negative towards the center of the unit. Now, if we pan over to the screen, we've got the radio on, receiver's bound, everything's ready to go. You can see the telemetry we're getting. So we've got the RPM telemetry here showing zero because we don't have it connected to a motor. We've got the temp one, which is the temp probe one, which I just connected. And if I hold that one, you should start to see it go up in a second. There it goes. So that'll adjust to my body temperature. We've also got these ports down here for all the other temp probes. And if I pan across, you'll see we've also got up to seven of them. So you, with the Jetty radio, Jetty receiver connection, you can get full telemetry, seven temp probes and RPM with your ignition T-switch. Thank you very much for watching, guys. Stay tuned for more videos.